Hi guys, this is Oliver and I just wasted my time watching Joker 2. Yikes. Welcome to another episode of Oliver Ekman 2024 Halloween Special. And October 2024 is the big time for clown movies. We just reviewed Killer Clowns from Outer Space, so go check that video out on my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And the Terrifier 3 is coming out later this October, which I am very excited for. I loved the first two movies. And now this Abomination Against Humanity has been released also with a clown, the Joker. I might be sounding a bit harsh on this movie, but that's because I love, love the first movie so much. It's a masterpiece. So yeah, without further ado, let's do this. Let's start with what I liked about this movie. First of which, the cinematography in this movie is amazing. Visually, this movie looks beautiful, especially watching it in the theater. All the colors and everything in those musical scenes in particular, they look amazing. And Walking Phoenix gives such an amazing performance as always. He is one of the best actors of all time. And the Lady Gaga was great as Holly Quinn. She gives a great performance. Alright, let's move on to what I did not like about this movie and where to even begin. The first Joker movie, it's a masterpiece as a standalone movie. It doesn't need any sequels, uh, but then they made a sequel. The story of this movie, it just sucks or there isn't really a story. Nothing happens in this movie. This entire movie is basically just recapping the first movie in a courthouse. That's basically it and some scenes of Joker in Arkham Asylum and other scenes with him in a courthouse two locations in this entire movie. It, it's like an epilogue to the first movie and there is no, the story doesn't move forward or anything like that, it's just filler. This entire movie is just filler heavy. The musical scenes in this movie are just filler. When I heard people say that this movie was going to be a musical, I was actually very excited because I really like musicals. I love love La La Land, it's a masterpiece. And I loved the musical scene in The Boys, but the musical scenes in this movie on the, on the other hand, it, w it was just filler, it didn't move the story forward or anything like that. It has nothing to do with the actual movie, it's just filler, which is so disappointing because on paper this movie sounds like a, a, an amazing movie, a musical starring Joker and Holly Quinn, that sounds like a great movie to me, but the execution of that, it just doesn't work. And also, I really liked Lady Gaga as Holly Quinn, but she was barely in the movie and she didn't really add much. She barely did anything in this movie, which is so disappointing. Like, what a way to waste Lady Gaga. And Harvey Dent is also in this movie and he also barely did anything. And easily the worst thing about The Joker 2, the thing that just frustrates me the most is that ending. Why? What were they thinking? What was I thinking? The ending to this movie was so terrible, like so bad. And it makes this entire movie feel like a complete waste of time. It's so pointless. It makes this entire Joker franchise feel like a complete waste of time. Or in particular, just the, the last 20 minutes of this movie, just terrible, like so bad. Well, this movie shouldn't, shouldn't exist. They, why did they make this movie? It's so pointless. In, in my opinion, I think that instead of making a Joker 2, they should have instead just re-released the first Joker movie in theaters. I would love to rewatch it in theaters again. Like that would be so cool. Like I, I, I think that they should have done that instead. This movie was so disappointing. Well, the trailer for this movie was so amazing. One of the best movie trailers of 2024. The person who made the trailer for this movie hated the movie also. Well, the trailer for the movie markets like a, a, a completely different Joker movie than what we actually got. But well, the trailer for this movie markets a much better Joker movie than the actual movie. Or in general, I just don't understand the idea of villain solo movies. Villain solo movies have been so popular most recently. W what is the point? A Spider-Man cinematic universe without Spider-Man and, and they're still going. I if you're someone who loved the first movie like me, then um, avoid this movie because this movie just completely ruined the legacy of the first movie. But if you're someone who didn't like the first movie, then you're probably going to like this movie and it, it's just a, a middle finger to the fans of the first movie like me. Before this video ends, since Gotham City in the Joker movies took inspiration from New York, we're going to end this video off in New York at the famous Joe's Pizza where they filmed Spider-Man 2. So let's end this video there. Let's go. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. And, and right now we are in New York. We are standing behind the famous Joe's Pizza. This is the place where they filmed Spider-Man 2. It's such an amazing sight, especially in person. Especially for me as a Spider-Man fan. I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye.